Hey YouTube family, it's good to see everyone. It's been two weeks and you guys have been listening to me moan and complain about my four month saw. Well the good news today is that it finally broke. Um, hopefully for good. I hope this isn't just like a fake out and then it comes back. But um, anyway, my high weight was 224.2, surgery weight 204, current weight 171.6, that's my lowest weight yet. And I'm down 1.8 pounds from my last video, which was two weeks ago. So my total loss is 48.6. I've almost lost a total of 50 pounds solid, which is really exciting. I want to start off uh, and say thank you to Ashley, which is uh, Find Me in Wonderland. If you don't have her, please add her. Um, I had posted my last video, and I put uh, I've, I've been trying to do my fitness pal, and I posted my stats on there, or like kind of you know how many carbs and how many everything. And <laughs> she was like, "Well," she was so sweet. I just asked if anybody had any uh, extra advice, and she was like, "Well." You might consider lowering your carbs because my carbs were like, I had 150 max for carbs. I don't think I ever ate that many, but it was probably somewhere between uh, 80 and 120 carbs a day I was eating that. And she was like, you might want to consider going into ketosis or eating lower carbs and that might help with your stall. So when she told me that, I was like, oh, really? I mean, I'm here I am, and I was like, I'm already counting my calories. I'm staying under 1,200 calories. I thought, that should do it, right? Counting calories. And, you know, you have the surgery, and you think, you know, I, I don't want to have to count calories and do carbs and all that. Uh, after I've had the surgery, I should just be able to eat a little bit here and a little bit there and be fine. At least that was kind of my mindset. That's a bad mindset. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, I've been. I haven't gotten down to 30 to 50 carbs. I'm. I'm working my way down to that because I am so cranky. Oh my gosh. I'm eating about 60 to 70 carbs, sometimes 80. It just depends. I'm trying to get it lower and lower because I'm used to having a lot of carbs during the day. So when I started tracking on my, my fitness pal, I realized, you know, my carb count and everything and um, something I finally got to help me with my fitness pal because I just have hated that. It was like my whole day would go and I would try to enter it in during the day. That didn't work. I tried to end it, enter it in at the end of the day. I was too tired. I didn't do it. So I found a way to make that work for me. I don't know if this would help you at all. Um, but I get up in the morning and I sort of... Here's an example. I sort of make a list of my to-do stuff, and in my list, I have to plan for uh, dinner that night and make sure that I have, you know, if we have meat, it needs to be put out or, or you know, whatever. If I need to run to the grocery store and buy something, whatever. And so, on that list, I while I'm planning my meal, I pull up my fitness pal and I plan out everything I'm eating for the whole day in the morning so that I can go in and adjust it if I change it up a little bit, but I kind of have it planned out. And then it also helps keep me on track because I've already decided what I'm going to eat for the whole day. So I know you guys are like, duh. I mean, we've, we've all been doing this. I feel like I'm like silly. Like I'm almost a year out and I haven't, I haven't taken advantage of my fitness pal. And I've been frustrated by it and I've shared that a million times, but, um, I guess the things that we hate the most can help us the most, right, I guess. So I'm just really very excited to see me start losing weight again because four months was such a long time and I was just like, this is ridiculous. And I'm looking at some of my other friends, some of you out there um, have lost 100 pounds by now and I'm, I'm like only at 50 and I'm thinking, well, it's because I'm older, maybe. I'm older, maybe it's my metabolism, maybe it's my pre-existing condition that I'm making all these excuses uh, for myself. And it was because I didn't really, it wasn't that I was trying not to eat carbs, I just didn't ever really think about it. Now I know, I thought, you know, we were counting calories, but <clears throat> anyway, so, sorry, my thoughts are going a million miles an hour because I found out today that my daughter has stolen a lot of stuff from me and I found it in her bedroom and I'm going nuts crazy not wanting to kill her anyway so I'm a little bit 
looking into ketosis, I don't know how healthy it is for me to go or how low, you know, so I'm just going kind of slow at lowering my carbs. And also I have found it's easier to keep your calorie intake what it's supposed to be if you're not eating as many carbs. So um, it's been big. And I, I think what happened, I think the problem for me, because, you know, before we had weight loss surgery, we were doing every diet in the book. And low carb was, you know, that was one. And um, <clears throat> I think what happened was when I would go in and see the nutritionist after the surgery, they were like so focused on protein, 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 and get your water, get your water, get your water so you don't dehydrate and so that you keep your protein up so that you don't get sick and your iron levels and all that. And she would say to me, as a nutritionist, I think at one point she said, you need to be getting between 30 and 50 carbs. I think that's what, because I looked back on my notes and I was like, oh my gosh, she did say that to me. But she also said, don't worry about anything else right now. Focus on getting your protein. And I think that somewhere, I just, I never thought about the carbs. I just was like, well, calories. She was like, you should be getting so many calories. The calories clicked, but the carbs didn't click. So I think that this might be, uh, I hope, <laughs> well, at least for this week, it's exciting. Hopefully, it'll put all the weight back on next week. We'll find out. I'm still going to continue to try to eat low carb, lower carb, and trying to keep everything under what it's supposed to be. Anyway, I think my, uh, let me pull up my name on my fitness pal. If you're on there, um, we could be buds. I would like that. It's a uh, no limits in zero L I M I T S. There's no space on my fitness pal. So please add me if you're on there and we kind of keep each other accountable. But anyway, that was my good news. So I don't know, uh, I don't know how this is going to work for me. I mean, this is just the first two weeks. I did lose weight. I attributed it fully to that. We'll find out what happens in the next few weeks. I'm supposed to get my one-year surge anniversary. It's coming up, I think, in like 12 days or 10 days or something. And we'll find out on my one year if I can actually get under 170. I will be so happy and stoked. And then I have nine days until my one year surge anniversary. And then there's 79 days to the WLSFA. I don't think I'm actually going, but I'm going to use that date. You know, everybody's like so amped about it. So I'm gonna use that date to try to, now that I have a newfound something that I can be excited about, you know, the four months was like, <laughs> I was like a long-term prison or something. It was like, what the heck did I do? I like, I thought I was doing everything right. I wasn't, anyway. So hopefully this can be an encouragement to you to start looking at your carbs. Um, maybe your issue, if you're having a stall like I was having, maybe your issue is about the carbs too. So maybe you should look into that. Uh, try my fitness pal, add me if you're on there. Love to do that. Anyway, love you guys, and I'm happy this week. I pray everything is going great for you all, and I will see you in two weeks, and hopefully, um, or on my one-year search anniversary, I hope. Uh, I continue to lose weight and if I do then we know that that is something that can help people that are in a stall I mean because we're here to help each other and so if people get in a stall when they're this far out maybe they need to look at the carbs maybe that is their issue too so I know that doesn't work for everybody because I think Lindsay Ply she's out several years and she was saying the low carb thing does not work for her so I mean I think it's a hit and miss it may work but if it does, that'd be great. We're just here to help each other. But anyway, love you guys. Nine minutes long. Bye.